First of all, I introduce the ingredient that I will use today. 3 cups of rice, 5 sheets of seaweed, raw salmon, raw sea bream, 2 eggs, 1 avocado, 1 cucumber, 1 parilla leaf, 2 cheese stick, canned tuna, kimchi, 100 grams beef. The seasonings are mayonnaise, vinegar, sugar, salt, cooking sake, soy sauce, and sweet sake. First, prepare the sushi rice. 5 teaspoons of vinegar, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 1 and 1 by 3 teaspoons of salt. Mix well with a spoon to make vinegar for sushi. Add sushi vinegar to the rice and mix well. Do not crush the white rice. After mixing, cover with a cross. Next, prepare the ingredients. Divide the eggs into separate containers and crack them one by one. Slowly mix both eggs. First make two thin eggs. Put oil in a frying pan and add one by two egg. Spread it thinly over the pan. Flip over so as not to break the egg. Break the other one in the same way. Next, make a stick-shaped Japanese omelette, tamagoyaki. Put oil in a frying pan and add one by two egg. Spread it thinly and roll it from the front. Spread the oil again and add the rest of the eggs. Spread it thinly and roll the egg. The tamagoyaki steak is completed. Next, make a beef dish. Add beef to the pan and fry. When the meat is cooked, Add soy sauce, sweet sake, cooking sake, and sugar. Fry for about 2 minutes, then remove to the plate. Next, cut the tamagoyaki steak into half lengthwise. Cut off the stem of the cucumber and cut 3 mm from the end. Slice the center as thinly as possible. If you have a slicer, I recommend use it. I don't have slicer, so I couldn't slice the cucumber very thin. Cut each end of the cucumber in half lengthwise. Roll the parilla leaf and cut them. Cut into small pieces. Cut the avocado in half and remove the peel. Cut the avocado half into six equal pieces. First cut the salmon into two sticks. Thinly slice the remaining salmon. Cut the sea rim in the same way as the salmon. 
First, make two sticks and thrust the rest of the sea beam thinly. Mix the kimchi. The canned tuna has too much oil, so drain it with a sieve. Add mayonnaise and mix. This is called tuna mayo in Japan. I have all the ingredients ready. Place the seaweed on the sushi roller. If you don't have sushi roller, use plastic wrap or cooking sheet. Spread the vinegar rice over the seaweed. Press salmon, sea bean, avocado, and egg. Long from the front. Next, put the sliced cucumber, beef, Roll from the front. Next, put half of amount of kimchi, tuna mayo, and cheese on top of rice. Roll from the front. Next, put the thin egg and salmon on top of rice. I forgot to put the cucumber. Roll from the front. Mix the remaining kimchi into vinegar's rice. Make kimchi rice. Spread kimchi rice on seaweed. Press the cucumber, thin egg, and sea rim on top. Roll from the front. Cut off both ends of the sushi roll. Cut the sushi roll into six equal pieces. Beef egg roll sushi, kimchi cheese roll sushi, salmon egg roll sushi, sea rim egg roll sushi. Five beautiful sushi rolls have been completed. Sub on plate. Place parilla leaves on top of beef egg roll. Put sesame seed on top of other sushi. Prepare soy sauce. The rolled sushi dish is completed. Today, I made my own original sushi rolls. It is not traditional Japanese sushi roll. I think that the ingredient I use today can be made by people living in foreign country. You can use your favorite ingredient and eat it, so please try it. I'm sure you will love sushi rolls too. If you enjoyed this video, please check my YouTube channel and tap like button. 
I'm looking forward to your comment. See you next week. Bye!